Hi techies, in this video I am just going to explain few more SQL queries which are very very important for SQL interview as well as Informatica interview. So let's start. If you see my screen I have uh, source table data like this. This is order table in that I have order number, line number, item, amount. These are my fields. So these are my columns in that I have uh, our data. So I have total uh, six records. Okay. If you uh, see below output. Uh, like second one uh, second result set. So this is our output. We need to write a query to get this uh, Output like this. Okay, and in this if you check um, The fields which are like columns which we have in the output query uh, I mean output result set we have order number line number item amount and amount underscore sum so till amount uh, these columns is same okay and data also same just extra column we have to add amount sum with some logic so the logic is if you clearly observe the data so based on the order number they are uh, summing the day uh, amount okay so if the order number if you take first three records which is having same order number so line number is different but order number is same and items uh, whatever they brought in that particular order that is and amount if you say the purchase amount 200 2110 so if you sum these three um, three amounts for that particular order number 101 we'll get 2310 as a sum okay we have to display that sum for those three records which is having 101 as order number so like that we have to write a logic if you take 102 we have two um, um, two records in that 120 420 is the amount for those two records we have to sum up and we have to display uh, in amount sum column for that particular two records and 103 we have all uh, only one record and that is having 500 amount so that 500 we have to display amount sum so this is the logic I'm just going to write a query to get this output result set. Okay. So this is my order table. If you see on my screen, this is my order table in MySQL which I have created before this video start. Okay. And now I'm just going to query on this. Okay. To get the expected output result. Like select start, comma. We have to get amount sum, right? So amount sum, okay. This is extra port. So now for this, we have, I have to write the logic. So I'm just using analytical function sum, okay. Sum of amount. Over. So I'm just using here partition by because we need to use um, order right based on the order we are doing amount so partition uh, by order number I'm just giving okay this order number I'm just copying and pasting here and okay this one I'm just giving as amount sum from what is the table order one okay so if you see the data output result this is extra so whatever as expected this amount sum we got like based on the order number is just sum of the amount so First three records is just sum up and it is given 2310 because order number is same. And second, I mean 102 records for 10 order number, it's sum up the amounts 120, 420, and it's just given 540. Same for third record, it's just only one record 500, 500. I have a source table data like this. So this is my customer table in this I have customer ID customer name phone number and email okay so in this uh, I have to get 
extra contact number customer id and customer name from source table this is my output okay how we get this output we have to write you know one select statement for getting this output result but first of all you have to understand what is the logic behind con customer contact so customer id customer name i'm just giving in the select because as it is from source table but customer contact if you see phone number so first two records i got phone number but third record i just got email id because phone number is not there it's a null so that's why i'm displaying email in the customer contact and fourth record if you see both are nulls phone number is null so it's going to check email email also null so it's just just displayed null so first it is going to return not null value of phone number or email first phone number we are going to check if it's null means it's, we are going to check email then if it's not null means we are going to display if it's that is also null means we are going to display null now i am going to write a query to get this output okay if you see my screen i have customer table like this in this i have customer id customer name phone number and email okay as it is whatever i explained same data i have kept here whatever i showed in the previous screen same data i just kept in the customer table so i am just going to write a select query for this to get customer contact extra port okay so select cust id comma customer name cust name cust underscore name okay now i just required another new field not phone number or email contact customer contact i required so for this i'm going to use coalesce function i don't know how many of you know this function so coalesce function i'm just going to use here which is uh, this function uses is like it just going to uh, give first not null value okay so i'm just passing phone number we can pass any number of uh, columns here but it's just going to return first not null value for that particular record okay so i'm just giving email here as i'm just giving customer contact from customer table So if you see data as it is whatever we expected same like that is just displayed so phone number per first two records is just displayed phone number because it's the first not null value we, because in the order when whatever order we passed here in that same order it's going to check it's just going to check phone number first if it's not null means it's just going to display that phone number and if it's null if you check for third record it's null phone number is null then it's just going to check email if it's not null means it's just going to return this uh, email address yes third record if you see contact uh, customer contact it just return the email and fourth record it just checks first phone number it's null and just going to check email then it is also null uh, then it's just going to give null value only because all the values which we passed here all are nulls that's why it's just going to return null so this is the logic for this okay the next scenario is like this i have a customer address table in this i have id state and district and i have to update state column wherever i got shortcut form of ap like ap if you see this table you understood so ap wherever i got then in the output i have to uh, show as andhra pradesh the full name of ap i have to um, give i mean i have to do this on table data so update we have to uh, perform on this table data to uh, get like this like a wherever we have ap we need to uh, replace with andhra pradesh okay so if you see my screen i have customer address okay cust underscore address this is my table so in this i i have inserted the data whatever i explained earlier so 
For this, I'm just going to write the update statement now to replace the AP with Andhra Pradesh full name. So update uh, here, we have to give the table name, cast address, okay? And then I have to use set command because we are doing update for that particular column. I'm just using set command here. We have to mention the column name. So set state equals to. And here I'm using replace function. Okay. Replace function. I'm just going to pass state column here wherever we find AP. So the string we have to give and I'm going to change with Andhra Pradesh. Okay. Full name. I have to give here. Okay. So this is all now existing name. Okay. Existing string. I'm just going to replace with Andhra Pradesh new string. Okay. Wherever we find AP in that particular column state is just going to replace with this. So if you see three ch change rows are three. Okay. Now I'm going to write select query. Okay. To check the data. So wherever we find we have AP just replaced with Andhra Pradesh full name. So this is the usage of replace function and we can use this replace even in the select also if you want to give same output but without updating the data just in select we want to uh, give this output then we can use this replace function in the select okay the next scenario is if you see i have source table data like this i have website name and ranking in this i have a complete website name like www.google.com like this i have okay in ranking is i'm just giving ranking for that websites this is worldwide ranking for that particular websites i'm maintaining in the ranking section okay ranking uh, column so I have uh, I have to get below output if you see uh, in the output second result set I have website name uh, but I just uh, I don't want complete name just this www dot and uh, in the end we have dot com right we have to remove this and just we have to display only Google Facebook YouTube like this this uh, before and after we have to remove before dot and after dot we have to remove everything just we have to uh, give uh, short names google facebook and youtube not full lengthy names okay full length names of website so i'm just going to write a select query for this to get output like this if you see my screen i have already created website rankings uh, uh, table so in this i have website name ranking these are my columns in that so I'm just going to write a select query because data is same as it is whatever I explained earlier same data I just kept it here so I'm just using uh, select query now to get our expected output so in this I'm just using substring index this is one of the function in SQL okay so I'm just using substring index here I'm just passing website name so and then I'm just giving some string here just I'm uh, giving dot okay and position I'm just mentioned like occurrence sorry it's not position occurrence we have to either first occurrence or second occurrence I'm just giving here minus two because minus indicates like uh, from last onwards it's going to check reverse order okay so minus two means second position of this dot uh, which means if you see here ww after that we have dot right so till here it's just going to give i mean uh, from here it's just going to give uh, google.com okay it's just going to search from reverse order first it just uh, going to check this first dot after google we have dot right this first dot and it just going to skip because we have given two right so second occurrence after ww dot we got right so before google from last it just going to check okay so from here onwards whatever there okay this dot onwards whatever there that data it's just going to give so google.com we are going to get okay i'm just not writing complete logic now itself 
okay i'm just going to show you what output we are getting for this function okay so ranking i'm just giving from particular table website rankings okay so if you see we got google.com facebook.com youtube.com if we give minus 2 like this okay now i'm just going to write another substring index for this same okay select logic but now i'm just passing this entire substring index to the another substring index function i'm just nesting up okay index of instead of column name i'm just passing this entire logic so that we are indirectly passing this whatever we got this website name in the sec i mean output that google.com facebook.com youtube.com this uh, data we are passing to the output of i mean outer substring index okay now i'm just using here again dot okay dot i am using and now again we have to give the occurrence this time i am just giving one so from starting onwards it's just going to check where dot is there so google after google we have dot com so from starting onwards it's just from first position onwards it's just going to take the string before uh, till before that dot okay so we are going to get google now the logic this is the logic okay so if you see data output whatever we expected same thing we got so there is no www dot there is no dot com okay everything we have removed just website name we just given not full name the shortcut okay if you see on my screen i have a source table data this is my employee table so in this employee table i have employee id employee name department and id and hire date so these are my columns and in this i have um, hire date right this hire date is like um, for the first record uh, when he has joined when they hired okay that date is just uh, given mentioned in the hire date okay suppose venkates has joined on 2023 12, 11 and 21 in the department 12 department id is 12 okay for him like this uh, we have data in the employee table now i have to get the output as below if you see second result set i have employee id employee name department and id and hire date this four columns is same as source table data so just we have to get this four columns from you know source data and next if you see next hire date i have previous hire date i have these two columns we have to write the logic and if you if you check the data data is not in the order of source table data all the records we have but it just you know uh, ordered on department id if you check department id is in ascending order and hire date also is there in the ascending order okay so what we have to do means first of all we have to do partition on department id and hire date we have to give on a ascending order and if you check next hire date because why we are doing this partitioning means if you check this next hire date uh, in this next hire date i'm just taking this next hire date and previous hire date based upon the department id okay not based upon the you know hire date just based upon the department id and hire date why means hire date i need ascending order because to get the next hire date and previous hire date also i need in ascending order to get the previous hire date so hire date that's why we have done on a ascending order and department id if suppose um i have four records in this department id 11 right so in this strino is the first person who has joined in that department because it's year of 2009 10 14 he has joined after that 
uh, Veena has joined 2021-0102. Okay. So in next higher date, I just required when next hiring has happened after Srinu. So Veena has joined after that Srinu 2021-0102. So that is we have to mention in the next higher date. And previous higher date for Srinu is no previous hiring was happened because he is the first person in that particular department 11 so that we have given NA not applicable okay same like that in the second record Veena for that particular department 11 she has joined in the 2021-0102 so we have to um, we have to uh, give next hiring for uh, for her so after Veena uh, Kirti has joined in the 2020-0121 so the next higher date we have to mention Kirti's joining date higher date okay and after the previous higher date we have to mention um, Srinu higher date okay previously before of Veena Srinu has joined so we have to mention the previous higher date of the uh, Veena so here is the Srinu okay Srinu um, higher date we have mentioned same like that if you check fourth record of 11 Vijay so that is the last record that is the last person uh, who has hired for that department 11 so that if you check here next higher date is in here because after Vijay there is no uh, no person has joined in that particular department and previous higher date is uh, already we have Kirti right so that pre her uh, higher date we have mentioned in the previous higher date now if you check this uh, fifth record Surya we have Surya Venkatesh uh, these two records is belongs to the department ID 12 so uh, again we have started so next higher date of Surya we have because Venkatesh record is there he joined after Surya that one we have given previous higher date we have given and yeah because uh, Surya before uh, there is no hiring for that particular department so he is the first person we have given previous higher date as NA so same like that uh, Venkatesh also for him uh, there is previous higher date but next higher date is not there because these two persons is joined in um, department 12 so According to department ID, I am just partitioning, right? So, we just want to uh, get the data according to the department ID, uh, department like who uh, has joined uh, previous and next in that particular department, we have to get. And the last person, if you take Ansuya, in this Ansuya, uh, the department ID is 13. She is only the one person who is working in the particular department id 13 so that her higher date we have given as uh, higher date we have 2019 he she joined okay but next higher date nothing and not applicable because only one person after that hiring has stopped for that particular department so previous higher date also and yeah, because she is the only one working in that particular department 13 okay so this is my output okay i have to get this output i need to write one select query so this is one of the most important informatica sql interview question for informatica developer this is one of the most important interview question because mostly um, um interview are going to touch the analytical functions so in that lead and lag are uh, you know very important so this output we have to get means we have to use and lead lag functions okay i'm just going to write a query to get this output very quickly okay if you see my screen i have uh, select star from employee this is my query already i have created employee table okay so here uh, i have employee table with the same data whatever i explained in the earlier side i have just inserted same data in this employee table now i'm just going to write a select query for our output so just i'm just giving star here because all the columns we required in this employee table and then i'm just using a lead function here lead is one of the analytical function in sql so i'm using lead function and i'm just passing higher date 
okay higher date comma uh, one because just next to that record i require for next higher date i am writing this logic next record higher date i required right so just one i am giving one step and na and any is like if there is no next record then it just going to give any not applicable and here i'm just using over partition by partition by department id and then order by higher date in ascending order okay as next higher date this is my field name i want like this okay and now i'm just going to use lag function this is completely vice versa to lead function so i'm just using higher data here also and uh, one i'm just passing because just previous record we required and na okay and over partition by department id okay and order by higher date in ascending order okay now i'm just giving as previous higher date from employee table so we have selected all the columns and for next higher date this is the logic lead function i have used and based on department id we have we are partitioning and order by higher date in ascending order because we required uh, higher date in ascending order that's because we have to give the next higher date and previous higher date based on order right so this is what for lag also next uh, column as previous I did this is the logic lag I used so this is going to give the uh, previous record uh, so I'm just uh, passing higher date okay uh, here also same we are just done partitioning on department ID and order by higher date in ascending order so now I'm just querying this enter if you see data same as is whatever i explained earlier same data we got as an output so next higher data previous higher data if there is no data it's just displaying na okay so i think everyone understood if you have any doubts please mention in the comments